And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on over there for some Selesnia Elves. That's right, we have a donation deck to play some Elves here in Standard. We're going with Selesnia as the pairing to green, where obviously we're playing green for the Elves. We're going with white to pair with green because of Radiant Destiny. So that's the card that I uh, wanted to try to use white to take advantage of. Um, you know, we get to whenever this enchantment enters the battlefield, if you're not too familiar with this spooky face looking enchantment, uh, we get to name our creature type, which will be elf, of course. And then all of our elves will get plus one, plus one. And if we have the city's blessing, which is 10 permanents in play, then they will have vigilance as well. So we're being an aggressive deck here. You know, like we're trying to get a bunch of elves out early, uh, pump them up with Radiant Destiny, and then pump them up with our cat lords, because we know cats and elves go together really well. We got a Johnny's to put counters on our uh, elves, plus a Johnny. This a Johnny works really well uh, at bringing back like a Growth Chamber Guardian or a Thorn Lieutenant or an Elvish Clan Caller. Um, works pretty well in this deck with with that ability as well. And then you know this a Johnny can put counters on all of our elves, give them vigilance. So that's basically that's our that's our main deck. We have two like little one ofs to kind of add some power to the deck. We got Unbreakable Formation. Uh, which can really turn around races, give our creatures indestructible, plus one, plus one, and vigilance for um, one turn. And uh, we have the Oketras, um, another cat, a cat god, uh, to go with our, our other cat lords over here um, that we can maybe get out early with the help of Llanowar Elf and Paradise Druid. And then every time we play an elf, we get a zombie warrior to uh, run alongside with it. Um, yeah, Tulsimer, there, yeah, yes, I don't have any Tulsimer in this Selesnya Elves list. I, I started with Tulsimer in the sideboard, and then I remembered, like, how much of, like, the, the Yoink decks are running around and replaced Tulsimer with Tristani instead, uh, because of the, the mass manipulation decks that are all kind of running around. Um, but then we also have Takali Underguard in our sideboard for all the Wild Growth Walker decks. Uh, and that can work pretty well with, you know, Johnny bringing it back also. And then I got Baffling End for aggro and for Wild Growth Walker decks. Basically, that's what I want to try to beat with Cyborg. We got Vivian's against Control. I think I like this Vivian more than three mana Vivian, I think. Um, I think Control is going to be like a, a tougher matchup for us, though. I, I, we're hopefully not going to run into too much Control. Um, and then we got Brontodons also against Mono Red blowing up stuff. Basically, I have like anti other creature decks in the sideboard for the most part besides like vivian's and tristani's are for control um but maybe against control you know like we can just get a fast aggressive start out here and have the ajani's to back them up maybe an unbreakable formation saves our creatures from a sweeper so that's what we got going on so lesnia elves Head on over to the tr traditional constructed queue with our donation deck here. <laughs> hey, good job, Royal with Cheese. Getting 119th out of 589 people last weekend. That's a very, very good weekend. Good job. There was o I didn't realize there was only 589 people at GPKC, though, also. Man, stand as a standard GP. So even just a couple of years ago, standard GPs would always have like two thousand people at least. Like just even like two years ago. But Wizards has really, really de-emphasized Grand Prix with like their lack of coverage and everything now. Hmm. We go Thorn Lieutenant. All right. Well, I really want a Johnny in play. 
But if they have another counter, I'd rather play like a clan caller. But now, let's just go with an, another Johnny. Ugh, they do have another counter. Keeping clan caller does make like the Oketra better though too. If we can get another land, play the Oketra, then the next turn we could have like clan caller plus like another creature. Oh, we just got another one of these. No. Well, no friend of actually. Mine. It's actually probably good. More work to do. Let's do it. Yeah, let's actually do that. All right, time to protect Johnny. Deliver us to victory. No! I try to... Uh, I try to click the Thorn Lieutenant and not actually attack with the Thorn Lieutenant. As you can tell there. I wanted just to attack with the two Pelt Collectors. Well, now a Johnny can die, but at least we have Oketra. Well, now we don't even have Oketra. Ugh. I hope you find your path. Down to one. Pelt collectors have trample, like once they have the three counters on them, then they have trample. Okay, worked out. Yeah, one mana for a six-six trampler. It's pretty good, pretty good value. It does does take you a little bit of time to get to get there to that that uh, six-six trampler value, but it gets there. So good thing we have the Tristanis instead of, um, you know, good thing we have these Tristanis in the sideboard with these uh, manipulations and everything. Kind of want honor guards. Kind of want baffling ends. Yeah, definitely need baffling end. Yeah, because of crisis and everything. Yeah, we need baffling end. Honor guard just stops frilled mystic, of course. But that's that's the only thing it stops is just frilled mystic. And they probably have like three frilled mystics in their deck, maybe. I don't think I'm gonna play the Takali though. Yeah, it does hurt my Pelt Collector, too. And it hurts my Tristani, so I don't think I'm going to go that way. I think I think I cut Oketra with playing Tristani, and honestly, I kind of think it's Radiant Destiny. I feel like I'm going to be sideboarding out Radiant, Radiant Destiny against just everything. But Radiant, Radiant Destiny is better game one whenever people don't have as much interaction. People basically always have more interaction games two and three, which makes Radiant Destiny worse. Um... I could have turn two Steel Leaf, but then if I go turn two Steel Leaf, then my Pell Collector isn't very good. Where if I go turn two Pell Collector plus Growth Chamber Guardian, then next turn when I play Steel Leaf, we'll have you know we'll we'll have like a three three and a two two attacking next turn instead of a five four. But then we'll also have the 5-4 as well.
All right, here's where we draw Tristani and get our Growth Chamber Guardian back. Draw Tristani. Ugh. Oh, that was it. I mean, it's definitely just an Elvish Clan Caller. It's just whether I want... Do I want to attack with the Pelt Collector? Yeah, I think so, right? I mean, Steel Leaf definitely attacks, so, and then, yeah, Pelt Collector attacks also. The only way they... they the 2-2 two -two and the 1-1 cannot block Steel Leaf, so the only thing that can block Steel Leaf is the Forest. And, therefore, if they Enough. block that to save Nissa, then they have to... They'd have to chump block the... The belt collector at that point. Hey Rex. Harness the elements. That thing's so big. I really want to throw away any of these other creatures. I must go. Well, that was a good block for us. Ness is gone. I'm likely going to be activating Clan Caller next turn. We are not activating Clan Caller this next turn because we drew the Steel Leaf. We'll just do both of these. Yeah, Nissa could probably be pretty good in this deck. I mean, Nissa's just a great card. But Nissa in an aggressive deck is a good thing. Vivian Reed's against control, like where you need the card advantage. Um, that's what Vivian Reed is is for in the sideboard. And boom, just too much, too much power. Just Growth Chamber Guardian, Elvish Clan Caller, Steel Leaf Champion. 
Too aggressive. All right, good start. One to know. Didn't even need our Tristani. Let them let them take a couple of my creatures and block with them. And didn't even care. All right, GGs. Yeah, this deck, this deck so far so good. Definitely been pretty fun. Um, this was a donation deck from... Um, from Guest. They did donate for me to make the deck. This was one that I, I put together earlier today. I guess I could have got that one point of damage in by just playing one of these lands. All right, well, this is going to be a Takali Honor Guard sideboard plan, that's for sure. Together, be strong. So they have Jade Light Ranger. I'm not really blocking. I guess, I guess I don't attack though. You know, I could so I could attack and deal two. Blech. All right, we're gonna need our four Takali Honor Guards in the sideboard. Strength is born of struggle. I'm glad no attack there. Maybe we can ultimate a Johnny. Like that's that's our only chance of winning this is ultimate a Johnny. We gotta see no No Vrasa's contempt or anything like that, please. Well, that's game. The best. That was <clears throat> that was my hope. Which cannot protect itself. Yeah, Selesnia Locket's gonna be much too slow. Rise, my elemental friend. You can find the dredge deck on the Stream Decker page there. I'd like to draw another Ajani, please. Either this either Ajani. I'll take either one. Either that or Elvish Clan Caller. But I'd rather I'd prefer a Johnny. Yeah, you could play banners instead of a Johnny's. Banner could be something. Oh, we have Radiant Destinies in here too. Radiant Destiny would be a good one too. Banner is probably just better than Radiant Destiny. That could be an upgrade over Radiant Destiny. I'm just trading with just a forest here. Um so there's 23 lands in the deck, so I was thinking that five may not be something I want to like rely on all the time. Do not test me. Um. 
but the donation was to to play um, elves with Radiant Destiny, and I honestly am not a big fan of Radiant Destiny. I don't think that Radiant Destiny necessarily makes the deck better than other options, like the than just having like some Planeswalkers or yeah, like Vanquisher's Banner. Why would you... Oh, yeah, I guess that... Yeah, that makes sense to kill that instead of Steel Leaf. Yeah, that makes sense. Because then, otherwise, the Pell Collector goes to, to a 5-5. Five five. That makes sense. So even if we have Takali Honor Guards, as we've seen from our opponent, they have a good amount of removal for Honor Guard. Yeah, our opponent is playing really slow. There we go. All right, we're not going to beat this Nissa. Let's pick this up. Not drawing seven lands there. All right, so we're going to have all these things, all these things. Um... Yeah, Radiant Destiny really is like a game one card. I'm going to take it out like every single round because everybody's just going to have more removal in their deck and I need to keep all the threats in. I can't just have a card that does nothing but give my creatures plus one, plus one in after board. But game one, it can, it can be nice. Um... Get rid of the Paradise Druids. And... The Unbreakable Formation? Hmm. The thing about Banner is Banner is card advantage also. Like that's that's one thing, you know, so even in these games like where there's more interaction, the the fact that Banner is card advantage does help it out here. I want to play a couple of Vivians in this matchup also. Um, I'm playing the Vivians over one of the, as you see, like those two cards that I cut. Uh, but I'm playing the Vivian here because Vivian can dig really far to find Honor Guard. And so if they, have, if they do have like a good amount of removal like they had that last game, um, Vivian can be some good card advantage for us. Attack. Give me that. A little good hand for us. Better not have Cry of the Carnarium. Honor and so they could have like Assassin's Trophy here that blows out the Baffling End that gives them a 3 3 blocker, but they could also just kill a Clan Caller. As well, with the same kind of thing. With me. Hmm. If 
I have to light the Attack. way, I will. Breakable formation doesn't help me there. <laughs> so we got this little 3 3 here. Seek shelter in my stewardship. Be wary of the ground you walk on. I think it's worth whether to use this to save the Ajani. Now do you see the Maybe it wasn't, honestly. But I really like the clan caller having the vigilance. Stop. But I guess with me not drawing another creature, I don't have any defense for the Ajani just dying here unless I block with the clan caller. They just use removal on it. Hmm. This Johnny would have ended up being better for us if it was Vivian. I would have taken out that one too for Vivian. A familiar taste, but one that grows no sweeter. This is just so good. Let's make all these creatures. I guess maybe that's the card that we should be playing too, is just playing Nissa instead of a Johnny. This is just too strong. Try to do something a little different with playing the Ajani's, but like these Ajani's, I like I like the double white Ajani still because that can bring back creatures, you know. But I guess I guess this this Ajani really should just be Nissa, and maybe the Oketra too. Be wary of the ground you walk on. Um, no, I wouldn't say it necessarily feels like we're playing against the same two decks in this metagame. No, I wouldn't say that. There are, there are of course, like, really strong cards, but that's always just how it's going to be. There's some individually strong cards. Can't really take another four and go to four kind of thing, so we'll just trade. You know, Thorn Lieutenant here. Yeah. Got another Thorn Lieutenant. And my opponent can just attack out and kill me if they decide to do that lethal here. I mean, I have no cards in hand. I can block three creatures. This 
six. That means three go unblocked. I take lethal there. All right, one and one. Our hand started off really strong. You know, our first four turns were really, really good. Um, but then turns five, six, seven, eight were not good. We didn't really follow it up with anything. And the opponent had a lot of removal. We just ran out of stuff. Ugh. So I think I should have boarded in the other Vivian. I, I brought in two Vivians and kept in one. And Johnny the Great Hearted, but I, I should have just brought in all three Vivians. That definitely would have helped us out. So would this Oketra be better as Nissa? What deck can run Clarion these days? Um, yeah, I do love Clarion too because of yeah because of Nissa. Um, let's see. I made a Jeskai deck. What if I what if I name Zombie with these Radiant Destinies? Hmm. So I feel like if I tap the Paradise Druid, it's gonna die. I think I'm going to just play a Radiant Destiny here, not the Ajani, and, you know, next turn go for a Ketra. <laughs> but honestly, am I just going to want to name Zombie? Huh. This is odd. Yeah, I don't want to tap the elf. I want to have Oketra first. Yeah, I'm going to say elf. Oh, Oketra's a zombie herself. Hmm. This is only the we control, right? Yeah, cute creatures you control, the chosen type. I don't want to make their zombies plus one plus one. <laughs> yeah, playing green white elves. Should I name zombies? Oh, what was I doing? Oh yeah, I was gonna go find. Um, Jeskai Walkers plays Deafening Clarion. If you want a, a different deck, though, also that plays um, Deafening Clarion. I wanted. I made like a, a Ral combo deck. I need to play this deck again. This deck's kind of fun. There you go. Oh no, I have to go over to another page to actually use the link. From existence. Check out that deck as well that I just put into the channel. If you're looking for a deck to play Deafening Clarion. And if I played Thorn Lieutenant and Radiant Destiny, that'd only be nine permanent, so the Paradise Druid wouldn't have. I'm still just going to do that.
Elf. No vigilance, unfortunately. But next turn, we sh we'll, should be able to ascend. <clears throat> well, I guess we will have to get rid of a forest. Unless I want to get rid of the Radiant Destiny in my hand. Now I get rid of the forest. So I'd like to draw a land. Because I can go land, a Johnny, and then we ascend. And then we got Vigilance, and then this Paradise Druid with Vigilance um, is just always hexproof. And so that's nice. Um, yeah, deck list for the old green, white, modern deck. Um, hmm. I guess, you know, I just Google searched and for this old article. Uh, but this this would be like the pretty pretty much like one of the last versions of the deck I was play I played. Deadweight. So they give the Thorn Lieutenant minus two, minus two, but so it's four, five, six, seven, eight. Hmm. Because we don't really need the vigilance. Yeah, let's get Vigilance out here. Let's get a Johnny. I am Bring proud back Paradise Druid. Your back on your feet. Because Paradise Druid will help me cast the Oketra. And now we have Vigilance. And now we'll get rid of and kill one of these things. But then we kill Nicol Bolas. And then they attack a Johnny. I can just block with this Thorn Lieutenant. And next turn I can play Oketra. And then tick up on Oketra also. Actually, let's double block. So like that'll kill the Paradise Druid. But get that get that thing out of here for good. Reset that. Um Definitely think it's worth it. Sure we can't play Oketra, that's fine. Look but that 5-5 five five is not turning into like a 6-6 six six lifelinker now the next turn. All right. Game two. So control deck. I think we want the Vivians and the Tristanis. Um, Vivian can also destroy the the enchantment where Brontodon could as well. I don't think we really need the Brontodon. So I want to cut Destiny, and I think I actually want to cut Unbreakable Formation. This isn't really like a sweeper control deck, or like Cry of the Carnarium is some of their sweepers. Gosh, that's so many fives though. Hmm, that's fine. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. If baffling end for like the amass token, eh. yeah, I don't know about that. 
Oketra's not an elf? Well, Oketra's... Yeah, we have... We have some, like, cat lords to to help with our elves. Oketra is the cat god, and same with, like, a Johnny's, the, our cat planeswalkers. Because everybody knows th that elves love cats. Everybody knows that. Just a well-known fact. <laughs> I like the term cat lord. Yeah, we could splash blue for arcane adaptation. And then Oketra is making elves also. Yeah, why do you think elves are like so nimble in the forest? Because they, they take after their cat friends that are also nimble. <laughs> it makes sense. All right, we don't have anything to any low drops, but we're going to draw those. So this is a good hand where we got our lands in our top end. But now we're going to draw a two drop. Like one of the t first two cards was definitely going to be a two drop. So I guess the first one's not with a Johnny. Which makes sense cuz we got to let them thought erasure first. Okay, well, here's our two drop. See? Two or less drop. So call that one. <laughs> Elves are can openers. <laughs> Spread wheat with a Twitch Prime sub. No subscriber, getting all the hype boats in the channel. Thank you very much. I thought for sure I was going to be able to play something else this turn. Pretty surprised by that land. Ow. All right, well, this will admittedly get, admittedly, this will get a little tough. Hey, Panda. Yeah, I've had a pretty good day. Pretty good day. I've had a, a tiny bit of a sore throat today. We need to get a nice night sleep. Nice, uh, a good night's sleep tonight. The plan there. Yeah, but it should be fine. <clears throat> Tristani. All right, well, now we have three two twos. Tristani coming in clutch here. That's why we kept the hand, because Tristani's clutch. So three two twos can uh, triple block the six six and have that reset. Um, if I don't block, though. I guess if I just play a Johnny and minus next turn, these would all be three threes. And, you know, with the clan color, that's a four four. So we'd have a four four and two three threes. And then this would be an eight eight. And an eight eight does not. Well, dang. Well, that's bad. I didn't really want removal from my opponent's side. Two, four, five, six, seven. Ugh. You do not have to fight alone. You can still fight.
It's not good. It's not good at all. Not good at all. Be steadfast in all though you were not destined to fight. Fight again. Um Yep, we got Vigilance now with this Ajani. I didn't... Uh, I was, hope, was kind of hoping they didn't trade there, honestly. Didn't really want to trade that. Now, that was the correct order. I had to I had to bring back the Thorn Lieutenant second, because yes, Ajani would have died. So I, I needed to minus this Ajani to put a loyalty counter on this Ajani, so that then I could minus and not kill the Thorn Lieutenant. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Now let's get another clan caller. Um, you are capable of more than you tick this Johnny up. Now do you see the benefits of peace? So I want to use the six mana on the clan caller instead of playing a paradise druid. No, don't look at my planeswalkers over there. I don't have a planeswalker removal spell. Okay. More clan callers. Okay. We did it. Defeated the Dreadhorde invasion. So there we saw the strength of the Ajani's. Especially with Clan Caller. What Clan Caller and Ajani's can do. So the the Ajani's are of course a lot better whenever you get to like keep some creatures in play. But I don't know that like the Ajani's like you know, the one Johnny minus and brought back Thorn Lieutenant, and then the other one put another counter on it, so good minus and bring back Thorn Lieutenant again. It was pretty nice. <laughs> yeah, now I see the benefit of peace. <laughs> Three Growth Chamber Guardians in hand? I mean, I want to mulligan this, but I mean, I shouldn't. That's really annoying. I mean, this isn't a mulligan, but, you know, like, we're not going to be able to grab other... Growth Chamber Guardians. But, I mean, these are still just, like, 4-4s. Four you know, we should have mulligan three lands. Four, four spells kind of thing. Yeah, Dredge did pretty good in ranked. Definitely did. Yeah, at least our opponent's on a mold of five, so that's good for us. All right, can the Elf Crab Warrior take down an opponent on five cards? It 
so weird that like this elf just has like these hands but then also has these huge claw things whatever they are <laughs> elf crab lawyer <laughs> Why I put a gate in the deck to because I still we still need a lot we need a lot of green for Steel Leaf Champion, but then we have like double white with a Johnny Mentor of Heroes, or no Adversary of Tyrants. Sorry, wrong with Johnny. A Johnny Adversary of Tyrants. Hmm. It's gonna be like a Ritual of Soot. I don't know. There's a Ritual of Soot. They probably would have just played it. And try to kill them before they find Ritual of Set. No, I was, I was calling clans over here. Yeah, Johnny Mentor Heroes is sweet. Yeah, the minus eight gain a hundred life. <laughs> but yeah, it had the same plus one as Vivian, basically. Of, but in, instead of getting, I guess Vivian gets creature or land, and it got aura creature or planeswalker for the plus one of looking at the top four. But then it could also plus one distribute three one one counters among your creatures. So it's kind of like Nissa, like Nissa gets three one one counters, but man, these enter the God Eternals. Would you see the standard dredge deck as a viable deck in a tournament? I'm not there with it yet. Um, I think if maybe if. If you had like a, if you played it enough where you had like a good sideboard plan, and you know really liked your sideboard and stuff, maybe then. But I'm not quite there with it yet. But I have done well with it every time I played it. Any more? No. Nope. Double check. <laughs> Double check. You'd hire Girl Chamber Guardian as your lawyer. G G G C G Law Firm. Nice, Septic Prime. How's it going for you? Niv Mizzet Reborn. That's a good kick to be on. I will teach you humility. If I must. Light shall always conquer darkness. <laughs> we take elf and crustacean issues personally. So yeah, Paradise Druid with Ajani is a pretty nice combo, you know, giving that vigilance. The opponent fought pretty hard for the Mulligan 2-5. Awesome. So, uh, control, bring in these, take out these. Ugh, just like last time.
Yeah, I've played the dredge deck three times, and we've gone 5 0, 3 2, and 4 1 with it. So. Have done really well with it each time. Uh, four lands, no more. Sorry, just a second. Okay. Oh, Gilgate. No. Oh. I should have Gilgated. So with only having one Growth Chamber Guardian, I want to wait till we have five mana, hopefully, to be able to play it and... <clears throat> play it and activate. So do they have ritual set now? I think I may not play anything if my opponent Okay, they, so they obviously they play their removal spell, so I will play another steel leaf. But if they just played nothing, I think I was probably just gonna pass. Probably a good time to get that guild gate in. Gosh, that card's annoying, stop. No, my Tristani. And other spells that aren't just lands. Alright, Rival. Have a good one. I am the master here. So if I if I block, they get to tick up Liliana. If I don't block, they have to minus Liliana. And so I'd much rather have Liliana minus than get out of my way. plus. So. Hey RSJD. <laughs> Welcome. Good help is easy to find in war. So the good news is that Bleh, never mind. There's no good news. No good news. It is good to see you, my friend. Hmm. Hey, Wingo. Thanks for that support there. I will lend you my strength. Alright, I'm gonna go with ticking up, because it's gonna be harder for my opponent to kill a Johnny by tick you know, ticking up. If I minus, I don't have to be worried about like blocking that 2-2. Two -two. I've learned much from your death. Oh, I looks like the five wasn't showing up anyway, but that's sub number sixteen on the day. There we go. That's better now.
Yeah, this this Liliana card making two twos. I I can't really beat it. That seems like a, uh, I guess it's a little. Now. I'm becoming irritated. So I can grab Growth Chamber Guardian and activate and go get another one. Which I think is my best play. I'm just I'm just not gonna I'm just not gonna kill this Liliana basically ever. On a mono black amass deck, I don't think. I don't think you gain anything from being mono black. I think if you want to be in a mass deck, you really should be black red to have widespread brutality, because that that's a really strong card that I'd recommend having in in, in an amass deck. Well, how this game's kind of played out, I'm, I'm feeling pretty good about game three, where hopefully our opponent, you know, like, our opponent on the play here curved, like, then to the God Eternals into Liliana on the play, and I'm hoping, you know, hoping they don't have, like, those two cards back-to-back, -back, but I, I like how our deck has been performing besides that. I just need to get all these creatures above two two. I think. See in yourself what I see in you. But I, I can't kill Liliana through all these two twos, and they get to just draw more cards and everything. I think. The decision on whether to play Incubation Druid or whether to play Paradise Druid uh, kind of depends on, on what you need, if you need. Or, like, basically, if you're playing Hydroid Crisis, Mass Manipulation, cards like that, that that cost a ton of mana, or, you know, like, the more mana, the better, that's, that's where you really want Incubation Druid. Otherwise, if you're just a little bit more aggressively slanted and you're just trying to have a mana creature for, like, four and five mana spells, uh, I think you want Paradise Druid more. Oh, I do you know, if you're like green, red kind of thing. Dead. They were a lousy servant anyway. I don't really have anything for Kefnet in my deck. Balance comes. I do have a Tristani where I could potentially just get these. Will lend you my strength. Could get that growth chamber guardian back. Abs and elves. What? What are you using black for? Just removal spells. All right. 
All right, that's Kanta and Liliana. Not fighting through that. Yeah, I don't. I don't have anything for Kefnet. So let's just try again. Try being on the play. Um, removal, find finality, Soren. I don't really think. I mean, that just sounds like you're just going to be playing abs at mid range. Like, I don't think it sounds like you just want to, like, if you're playing all that kind of stuff. I don't know if you're going to really have enough elves for, like, an elf synergy. Hmm. I'm going to turn this thing into a 4-4 four four here. I think it's Tyrant Scorn for the Growth Chamber Guardian here. Yeah. I will teach you humility. You were not destined to fight. Now if it's Cry of the Carnarium, Pell Collector won't die. Crab people. If I Drawing more crab people. Way, I will. Shuffled up. Alright, where's this land at? Not the land. Not yet. I <laughs> can't wait to see an anime crab on Netflix. Now do you see the benefits of peace? Need another land. Well, cool, I got rid of a lot of removal spells there. Scorn, scorn, craving, and opt. Hmm.
Come on, draw land. Okay. We're getting there. Definitely playing this Tristani first so we can get the Pelt Collector back. Now do you see and not just going to attack because I want the my Pelt Collector back. And we have good blockers to protect a Johnny now. I think my all-time favorite card is Corsair of Crufix. That's really like that card. It, it's a one green green for a two four enchantment creature, which enchantment creatures are cool because I don't know it's just a creature that's also an enchantment, so that's just kind of cool. It has a cool little border. Um, but I like that it's a 2-4. It blocks well, which is good. It also has whenever you play a land, you gain a life. So I like that. I like gaining life. Staying alive, that's, that's always good. And then... Uh, it also has... The, you have your top card of your library, library revealed is also pretty neat. You don't usually play with the top card of your library revealed. And then if that card is a land card, you may play it. You know, you only get the one land drop a turn, like always, but again, it's a nice, another cool little thing. I mean, I feel like I should be minusing a Johnny, but minusing a Johnny next turn could do a lot of good stuff for us. I want to be risky enough of this Ajani staying alive for a turn. I think I can. Now, do you see the benefits of peace? So they kill Ajani. We still have Tristani and Oketra. Oh no! Made the wrong choice! Alright, thank you so much. Um, got a deck tech donation here. I will take a look at that after this league. We'll talk about it. Thank you so much there for that donation. But yeah, I'll, I'll take a look at it. I got, got it pulled up after the league here. Uh, so 12 12. Which no one knows the wilds like I do. Shall always conquer darkness. All right, so I, I can potentially I can ultimate Vivian next turn if I get to untap with the Johnny and Vivian because I can just minus two the Johnny, put a counter on Vivian, and then minus eight Vivian. Seriously? Seriously? We Not must bad. regroup. For a mouse. Come on. Well, wow. <laughs> so every game playing against this Kanta is a depressing as Kanta game.
We have one other Tristani in the deck that maybe we'll draw if we're like really lucky. Come on. We are not very lucky. Ugh. All right, two and two. Not not so surprised that we struggled against like that that you know re really removal heavy deck. Um, not so surprised there, but we there were some good games there though. You know, like put up some good games, and you know we, we you know our deck's not perfect, but. It also was pretty fun to play, and I think it, um, and yeah, it's a very average power level, didn't feel that strong or that weak. I'd say that, yeah, our deck's not really that weak, but it's not really that necessarily that strong either. But you know, we're playing a Selesnya Elves deck. I think, I think that's a good, a good start. Um, one thing that we could change is it could take out these two, a Johnny the Great Hearted and the Oketra, and just play three Nissas. That's something that you could change. Um, maybe Nissa's better than those three cards. You know, it just gets you more, more three threes and everything. Um, so like that's that's an option if you, if you want. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if that makes the deck better. Maybe it does. We saw there, like, that green white Johnny was doing some good work for us. And, you know, like, the green white Johnny and the Oketra are both really good cards. So that's kind of a, um, you know, a personal preference, see what you want. This Nissa may just be better because, like, if we get, if we get like, an aggressive start with, like, these other elves, just, like, you know, getting three threes every turn. Um, so that could be something there. Uh, another thing, I you could take out... Maybe we trim. It seems like we need like like maybe just need more in the sideboard against control. As we talked about before, like at the very beginning of this video, I was talking about how I didn't really want to run into control too much. Um, maybe like the, the three baffling and three brontodon. Those cards you could trim for more cards that are good against control, which is basically more planeswalkers. Could play like some some three mana Vivians in here. Uh, another option. Except for like the double white, it would be tough. Um, but Gideon would be another good anti control planeswalker uh, to have in here. So, those are some op other options. Uh, I was really, you know, hoping to have a little, a little more games against aggro kind of thing here. I think Marwin, I don't think we have like the, the tons of mana to use for Marwin. And Marwin's like a slower uh, elf that is like awesome whenever you're playing like Krasis or like, you know, really big mana things, but you just don't really need that with the deck. Um, yeah, the other uh, couple other cards, Beast Whisperer could also be a card to get you some more card draw every time you cast your creature draw a card kind of thing if you want that. Or as we talked about, um, Banner. Uh, Banner could also just be a, a sideboard thing to like replace Radiant Destiny that still gives your creatures plus one, plus one, but then also draws cards. That could be another thing. Um, those are some other options there. But there we go. Selesnya Elves. I think it worked out pretty well. Good, good first try. Um, I I know I know we talked about during the video talked about why I was like boarding out Radiant Destiny like every match, but I I don't think that even game one I don't think that the deck's really better with Radiant Destiny over playing like a a twenty fourth land and then playing like more Johnnies instead of Radiant Destinies you know just playing like a Johnnies and Nissas and like you know maybe playing another land then um you know just just basically getting these things in instead of these kind of thing and then and then just getting another land in here 
um, like another planes. I do think that that would up the power level of the deck just having these things instead of the radiant champions or radiant destinies. So that's another option as well. Um, Evolution Sage for more counters. I mean, if you're not playing a Johnny the Great Harder, there's not really things that are putting counters on your stuff. You have like Growth Chamber Guardian, Pelt Collector, and that's it. I guess there's the other Johnny also, but no, I don't. I don't think Evolution Sage is better than playing Planeswalkers. Growing Rights of Itlamok. I think again, you'd need to play an Elf version that can really take advantage of having all that mana. Um, instead, yeah, maybe like a second one of these and two of those, two of those. So that's another option if, if you want to move away from Radiant Destiny. All right, uh, that's uh, Selesnya Elves. If you're watching this video later on YouTube, please hit the like button over there for the video. I'd appreciate that. Um, but that's going to be it for Selesnya Elves. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you for another video.